In this video, we are going to continue with the discriminant and nature of roots of quadratic equations. You will find this on page 19 in the Namibia AS level, Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Prove the nature of the roots. If they are real, if they are non-real, remember real is bigger or equal to zero. Okay, think of the disc. Non-real is smaller than zero. And rational is also bigger or equal to zero. Okay. A very helpful hint is providing the nature of the roots is that a square is always given a positive result. Okay. Because a negative 3 times square or negative 3 times negative 3 will be positive 9. Okay, so let's start. Show that the equation has real rational roots for all real values of p and p is not equal to 1 okay so the first thing is we're going to just work out the discriminant okay so if i work out the discriminant i factorize i get exactly square can you see that it's a perfect square and we say that if it's a perfect square then the roots will be real they will be rational uh, for all real values of p okay so that is very important um, I, this is just a way of proving. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number A. I'm, I'm writing it down. So it's x squared plus px plus pk negative k. X. First step always, get it in standard form. That means get your x squared, then your x, and then the ones without an x. So if I rearrange it, there's an x, and there's an x also. So I think the best will be first, and I'm, I'm going to write it here because it's coming over, and there is no x, and then I write that one. And then it's always good if you take the x out, if there's more than one term, as a common factor. So it will be x squared plus p plus k x plus p k equals zero okay then if i'm going to um, start doing this i'm first going to work out the discriminant so the discriminant equals b squared minus 4ac so it's going to be b squared so it's p plus k squared minus 4 and a is 1 and c is pk so don't forget it's two terms so do the short way but don't say it's p squared plus k squared no there's a middle term so it's p squared multiply the two with each other times 2 so it's 2 pk plus k squared minus 4 pk now you can rearrange it. Always keep, keep in mind, there is your, uh, there is your p squared. Uh, this is like, can you see? So it's minus 2 um, pk plus k squared. Okay, and now I'm going to factorize this. And if I'm going to factorize this, don't forget, okay, this is 1 and this is 1. And there's the double. So it's it's 1 and 1 and 1 and 1. So it's 1, it's in group A of quadratic trinomial, trinomials. So 1 plus 1, that's 2. The signs are the same, negative, negative. But this is P squared P, so put the P's in front. And then it's K, K squared, so put the K's there. Can you recall that kind of ones? We did that. So the brackets is again exactly the same. P minus K and then squared. And now I'm going to say, oh, sorry. Just want to move this. This one's not moving. Show that the following have real rational roots for it. Now, now I'm going to say, therefore, the discriminant is bigger or equal to zero. And a perfect square that's very important a perfect square is like square numbers and that's numbers where you say one square is one 
two, uh, uh, two squared is four. Four is a perfect. So it's if you square that result, so you square, so that will be a perfect square. And then you say, therefore, the roots will be real and rational. for all values of now let's just move up a little bit oh, my handwriting of P and oh pin again uh, and K okay. and that will be my final answer Really not? So you are just, just do everything and uh, if you want to show that it's going to be uh, real and rational, you have to end up with that perfect square.